People are constantly saying you need to network to get ahead, but how exactly do you do that? As getting a new job gets more challenging, a great network is a huge benefit. The best jobs and the best hires are found through people you know. Building a great network isn't just fun, it's a career asset. In my over 40 years in business, including being the VP of HR at Microsoft, I've seen people truly excel at networking. Here's what they do. The key to success in building a career-enhancing network is to get outside your own bubble, to expand your visibility beyond the people you work with every day. When you get exposure beyond your immediate sphere, you multiply your exposure to others. Those new people introduce you to more new people, and the size of your network expands exponentially. Yes, it's fun to interact with those who you share interest and skills. It's great to talk the details of your work, but if you stay entirely within your own area, your network will never expand beyond it. The trick is to look outside your discipline. If you work in finance, find people working in sales, marketing, development, manufacturing, HR, wherever. Get to know people far and wide. Learn how every part of the organization works. It will help you in your job and build you allies across the company. Yes, I know Anne who works over there. Let me go and talk to her about that. Better yet, get outside your current organization. Look to other companies in your industry, other companies doing interesting things, other organizations that work far differently from your current one. The value here is in understanding how things work elsewhere, how they handle challenges you see every day. How do they motivate people, work across disciplines, hire great talent, handle lean times? Every organization faces many of the same challenges, and it can be incredibly enlightening to see how other people and other teams handle them. It makes you smarter and more valuable to yourself and your company. I've seen how they handle this in the sprinkler system industry. They handle it like this. Best is that you build a range of options in your career as you see the broader world around you. But where do I find all these people? They're everywhere. Inside the company, they're in your budget meeting, in your HR training class, in your company all hands meeting, in that monthly Zoom meeting you hate but have to attend. Outside, they're at that conference you went to last year. They're on social media talking about the frustrating parts of their industry. They're in that Reddit forum for your discipline or in that gaming Discord server. They're the other parent at your kid's soccer match, the neighbor down the street, or the person across the room at church. The other volunteer at the nonprofit fundraiser or the other hiker in the group you occasionally go off with. They're literally all around you. All you have to do is reach out and ask. Hey, I'd love to have a Zoom or a coffee to talk about what you do. Almost no one would refuse that conversation. But I don't know anything about those other disciplines or organizations. That's the good part. That's what's fun. Meeting people like this is a chance to learn and to broaden your scope. The key is to be curious, to ask lots of great questions. Not just what do you do, but tell me how that works. What does a typical day or month look like? What are the biggest challenges in that? And dig deeper. That's fascinating, but I bet you get a lot of pushback from sales on that. Gee, that seems like it would be tough to make progress on. How do you stay motivated? Wow, that sounds cool. What are some of your biggest successes? Remember in these conversations to make the discussion all about them, or at least mostly about them. Ask great questions, get them talking about themselves, about their job, about their challenges, about their successes. Don't dive into personal things unless they invite it. There are too many sensitive areas and it's too easy to step on toes. Just keep it all about work, all about what they do, their role and their company. You'll be surprised at the results. People love a good conversation like this, where they get a chance to sit with a good listener and share what they know. Best of all, they'll think you're smart and thoughtful just because you showed interest, asked great questions, and listened thoughtfully. 
The results of a great network aren't fast. They don't happen in days or weeks. It takes years to build a rich web of connections. But a great network can last a lifetime. If you simply keep in touch with the many people you've met, those connections will endure forever, and the payback will be a rich life of options and opportunity. There's no better way to find a new job than through a network. The best hires and the best roles are found through people you know. With a robust set of connections, when that opening comes up, one of the people in your network will say, hey, I know a great person for that role. It also builds resilience into your own career. If your company is headed into hard times, there's nothing better than a network of people who know you. They will defend you when you need it. We should keep them around. Let's find them a spot. And they'll be there to help you when you need a new job. I know they're hiring over there. Let me know if you need a connection and I'll see what I can do. Make your network a priority. Try to make a new connection a week. One person you know who you didn't know the week before. Soon you'll have a rich network that's as invested in your success as you are.